Greetings and welcome to the world of cryptos and welcome to the Crypto Corner. I hope you had a fantastic week. Well, the cryptos had a fantastic week too. As you can see, the market is now over $400 billion, which is fantastic news. And uh, we see a lot of green uh, in, in the charts. Mainly here, Ethereum that went up since yesterday by 10% in seven days by 15%. But the crazy stuff is happening if we sold by seven days. Here we've got even a few coins which is new that went up by 300% in seven days. 300% in seven days. All these are DeFi tokens, by the way. DeFi, 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 and so on. So we have got 28 coins that went up by higher than 15%. And um, so the DeFi market, as you can see, is absolutely on fire, which is also reflected in the fees that we have to pay for an Ethereum transaction. So uh, just to give put that in perspective, about uh, March of this year, we had to pay around 20 cents, 30 cents uh, for a transaction. Now we have to pay around six, seven dollars for one transaction, which means on more complex transactions like the DeFi ones, it can be that you have to pay 20, 30, 40 dollars uh, if you uh, want to participate in uh, in the DeFi sector and so on. Um, as you see here, the, these are the charts of the fees and the last bull market we had in 2017, where we thought this is outrageous, we were at over four uh, dollars at, at peak. Now we're at six dollars fifty. That supposedly is going to be eliminated with Ethereum 2.0, but nobody knows when that will be exactly implemented. So uh, until then, we will have to pay higher fees. That means at the same time, if you're investing in this segment, you cannot go in there with just $100 because it will eat up the fees will eat up your profits. So let's take a look, closer look at this DeFi market. And this is here on uh, DeFiPolls.com. And uh, last time I showed you this here, we were around $1 billion uh, locked up. So this is the money that people are putting into these protocols uh, to participate in this market. And it's currently at $9 billion. So it's, it's growing like crazy. Uh, and uh, you can see here in, in closer detail uh, how this is happening, what's happening and so on. So yeah, DeFi market is, is where you have to be. But be very careful because if you want to participate in here, you need to know what you're doing. I am not participating in that. I think it's too hot and too risky. Um, you need to be in all the Telegram groups. Uh, you need to be in contact with the people. Uh, you need to know which program, uh, which protocol was audited. Where is the music uh, happening? By the time you hear it, by the way, from all those famous YouTubers, it will be too late and you will lose money or there's a chance you will lose money. So if you uh, participate in DeFi, just be very careful. Now, I've been asked a few times, uh, what do I do uh, with, um, with taking profits? Yeah, so it's, very, it's easy to buy tokens. You hear that on a YouTube channel or wherever you, you hear that. Uh, somebody recommending something, you say, yes, fantastic. That's exactly what I want to do. You buy those tokens, but then what? Yeah, and um, so that you don't fall into the same mistakes that I fell into in 2017, this is what I'm now currently doing. So as soon as a, a coin went, goes up by uh, uh, 200% or doubles in price, I mean 100%, what I do then is I take 20% out and put them back into Ethereum or uh, Bitcoin, depending on what your favor, uh, flavor is. 40% I then take out and invest them into a new uh, uh, token and 40% I keep in that token. So that's my strategy. That's what I do uh, if a token went, uh, goes higher than uh, uh, 100%. And why? Because with all those tokens that go up crazy in a few days, they'll come down again. It's, it's always the same uh, case. Now, there are some special moments uh, where I also plan to take out money. And these moments are the elections in the US. Nobody's got knowing what's going to happen and it will have an impact on the market. So at, uh, before election, I take 20% out, out of my portfolio and put them into uh, fiat. So US dollar, euros, uh, Canadian dollars, whatever that is. Uh, when BTC, Bitcoin reaches an all-time high, so around $19,000, 
I will take also 20% out into fiat. When BTC reaches either 30,000 and 40,000, I take 20% each time and, and put into fiat. Just take out your profits, you know, just to be on the safe side. Because this thing comes down like a rocket. It goes up like a rocket, but it comes down in, in a matter of uh, hours from an all-time high to a normal number. So you have to be prepared that when the market comes down, that you have taken out your profit and you don't uh, well, uh, cry about uh, non-taken non uh, gains. The last one is if Bitcoin reaches 50,000, then I will take 40% out into, uh, into fiat. Um, all this, uh, this is the strategy that I will be following. Uh, what happens after 50,000? Well, nobody knows because we've never been there. We've never been at 30,000 either, but this uh, I said, this is the strategy I follow. Um, I recommend you, you create your own strategy um, and you follow it. Uh, it's important, but you'll see that once this market go goes up and comes down, uh, a lot of things uh, will happen. Anyway, that's as usual from me. So thank you very much for watching and I wish you a fantastic week. Thank you. Bye.